Jesus speaks about a type of servant that thinks that he thinks that the master will be delayed in coming and he can enjoy his time until the master comes back because he thinks it's still a long while until the master will be here soon. And this made me think about a story that I heard about Satan that I think is worth sharing, very much related to today's gospel. The story goes like this. It says that Satan one day was concerned because there were enough people condemned in hell. His rates of condemnation had gone down. So he got three of his best demons, and he said, I'm sending you on a mission to the earth. I want you to bring as much souls as you can. So he gave them, let's say, three months. And he told them, after three months, you're coming back to me, and you're going to report me how many souls did you get. So after three months, the first one came, the first demon came forward to Satan and he said, I got a hundred souls in these three months. And Satan asked him, well, you didn't do so well. What was your strategy? And he said, well, I started to lure the souls with a desire for riches. So I didn't do too well. The second demon comes forward and he got 120 souls. So Satan was a little bit prouder of him, and he said, at least you did better than number one. What was your strategy? And he said, I lured souls through the sins of lust. I did a little bit better. And then the third demon came along. And the third demon came with a thousand souls, ten times what the other demons had done. And Satan asked, said, great job. What was your strategy? And he said, I spoke to people about prayer, confession, penance, spiritual reading, self-denial, and great spiritual things. But I convinced them that there was still time and that the best time to be doing these things was later in the future. So I think that today's gospel is warning us about the permanent temptation that we face in saying, I still got time. All the good things that I have in mind, I'll do them later. I will be a better person in the future. Right now, I'm okay with being a decent Catholic. So many times we, we kid ourselves and we we are lured into the trap of saying, I still have time. I'll do, better, I'll do better next month. I'll do better next year. I'll do better after my retreat. So brothers and sisters, today is a good chance to ask ourselves this question. What am I deferring for the future? What do I know that I am meant to do and change in my life? But I'm thinking, I still have time until the master comes back. I'll do that in the future. What aspect or what dimension of our spiritual life we think that we still have time, that today is not the right time, but tomorrow or next month. Today's gospel reminds us that it's not a good idea to postpone things that we know to be good and that the right day to do the right things is today.